Hey everyone, this is Renee from MyMore.com and right now I'm going to take a look at the Sonos Home Theater System. Amazing wireless sound, all controllable from your iPhone or iPad. So here we have the Sonos Home Theater System. Sonos itself isn't new. They've been making wireless speakers for years. A couple of years ago though, they decided to go all in on iPhone and iPad as a means of controlling them. They used to have this $300 control system. They threw it out and they started making apps for the iPhone um, and the iPad. Now more recently, they've gotten into home theater and the principal component in that is the Sonos Play Bar, which is right here. The Play Bar has both your center channel and your right and left channel. Sound bars are getting increasingly popular. Most people are ditching home theater in the box systems and going straight with the sound bar because they're much easier to set up and much more convenient. Now, I used to have an audio receiver, but I kept getting HDCP errors. Thank you, Hollywood. This is way simpler. Uh, instead of having to plug HDMI components into the sound system, you plug those directly into the TV and then from a simple uh, optical cable out from the TV it goes into the soundbar. So anything playing on your TV comes out of your Sono system. If you want a ton of inputs because you have every game machine on the planet, you know, three Roku boxes and Apple TV, uh, you know, a couple TiVos, it's not going to be for you. But if you have just a couple components, I have just an Apple TV. Um, and a Blu-ray player plugging into the TV. It's a fantastically simple solution. We also have the Sonos Sub, which provides that deep, booming bass that you really want on a home theater system. And on the sides, I have a couple of Play 3 speakers. Sonos makes Play 1, which are very small, very inexpensive, very portable speakers. They make Play 3, which are slightly larger, and then they make Play 5, which are really large. So I have a strange octagonal living room, so I went with Play 3s. Now, the big story here is that these are all wireless. You no longer have to run speaker cable all around your house, uh, condo, apartment, townhouse, whatever it is. You plug the speaker into power. Yes, each speaker needs to be individually powered. That is true, but there's no speaker wire, and quite often you have power outlets at more positions in your room than you have you know, speaker wires coming out of the wall. So you plug them in, uh, and they create their own Wi-Fi direct sort of mesh ad hoc uh, network. So as long as one of them is plugged into your router, into Ethernet, in my case I have the play bar plugged into Ethernet, it will make a network with all the other speakers. You can get uh, separate bridge components if you don't have your network anywhere near where you want your home theater system. And you can even get um, Sonos components to connect your existing speaker system into the network. The nice thing about Sonos' this home theater system is that it's so modular. You can just add components as you go. You can start with the play bar, you know, you'll still get good front, left, right audio. Then you can add play ones or play threes, get nice surround sound. You can add a sub so that you get the nice deep bass. Uh, from there, you can do all the traditional things that you would do with Sonos. I mean, you could stream Songza, you can tie into Pandora, any of the services Songza offers, you can play. Unfortunately, tragically, they do not support AirPlay directly. If you want AirPlay, you've got to either have an Apple TV, like you would with a home theater system, or you've got to have an Airport um, Express connected into one of the Ethernet um, capable speakers. That is a downside. I really, really want Sonos to add that feature, but because I'm using it as a home theater, I already have an Apple TV. AirPlay is good to go for me. iPad version of the controller, you can see I have a group set up for the living room. It shows me what's playing now. I can easily enhance speech if I have trouble hearing dialogue over the noise of the music. So here I have what's playing in the living room. I can enhance dialogue if the music is too loud and I can't hear what they're saying. I can also put it into midnight mode or, or night sound mode, which you know, reduces the bass and makes dialogue even louder, but music lower, so you know my neighbors don't get upset that I'm watching movies into the wee hours of the night. Um, I can control the volume very easily. Right here, I can just go all the way down, go all the way up. We won't go too high up. Here I have easy access to Sonos favorites, the TV, music library, uh, and all the different services that Sonos provides. In addition to the home theater stuff, you also have the traditional Sonos uh, direct audio playabilities, MOG, Sirius XM, uh, RDO, Slacker, iHeartRadio, Spotify, iTunes, Pandora, all of this built right in. 
The iPhone version is similar, but because it's an iPhone, of course, you only get one column at a time, but it's still fairly easy to move through all the different screens and get to exactly what you want. There you have it, the home theater system from Sonos. I'm Renee Ritchie, you can find me at Renee Ritchie, and for more great videos, you can find us on youtube.com slash imorevideo.